So on Tuesday the 5th, I hiked to S Tree Campground. Let me just tell you that the last mile before you get here, if you come here, to make sure you have some snacks and some water and some strong legs. <laughs> that uh, hill is pretty uh, grueling. Also, the uh, through hiker manual shows this as a, you can see it right there, the dollar sign, keep left at four guest tree campgrounds on right, half mile, dollar sign, camp. Um, I walked all over this place when I got here last night. So I walked all over this place when I got here last night trying to find somebody to pay. <laughs> and then uh, I got a text message and realized I had cell phone service. I've had decent 4G cell phone service here. And uh, so I went on the internet and looked up S Tree, Kentucky, and this campground is free. First come, first serve. Being that it was a Tuesday, I did not see another camper at any site. And I walked through both loops, trying to find somebody to pay, an office, whatever. So, uh, no water here, no electric. And, uh, you gotta pack your own trash out. I didn't see any trash cans anywhere either, so. Pretty nice for being free, though. It's got a fire, fire ring, picnic tables, uh, tent pads, and, uh, if you get lucky like I did, you will find that someone left a block. Um, because getting these tent stakes into this gravel would have been impossible otherwise. But yeah, pretty nice campsite. My shoes are still soaked. I had them sitting in the sun. As the sun's rising, they keep losing the sun. And my socks are hanging up over there on a pole. Trying to get everything dried out. I might hang out here for a little while. I've been getting about six miles over on my anticipated destination. And if I wait and leave at noon, I've only got to get uh, 12 miles to get to my next spot. So I think I might do that and just kind of give my feet or my shoes and my socks some time to dry out. I will update later on the trail though that plan changes and I'm off walking out of S Tree campground hoping they have a trash can somewhere because I have about a pound and a half of trash um, I'm getting a late start it's Wednesday the 6th 10.05 a.m. My knees are still pretty sore, so I debated on staying here all day and just resting, but it's cloudy, so my shoes are probably still going to be wet tomorrow. So I'll just try to make it to Turkey Foot Campground. I think they have electric and showers there, which would be awesome, but I really want to find a trash can. And I don't remember seeing any. And if not, I'll just have to carry in hand my trash. You know, I try to dump trash every chance I get. But uh, I'll be making the uh, connection with Shatali up here in about uh, a little over a quarter of a mile. I'll update later. Sometimes you just take your trekking pole tip and break the soil to drain it yourself. A 
Hey buddy, you chilling out? Hanging out in the sun? Huh? Not speaking today? Huh? All right, well, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy your day in the little mini pond all to yourself there. Yesterday, hiking in the rain, I mentioned an old leg injury from where I broke my leg that was starting to bother me. And uh, today, it's quite a bit, quite a bit, well, not really worse. It's the same. It's just more constant. So, uh, I am currently sitting at 14138, which is uh, Forest Road 3062. And uh, I've got about 11 miles to Turkey Foot. And uh, it's taken me about, see I left at 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It took me four hours to go six miles. So for me to make it to Turkey Foot, it's going to be after 9 p.m., which means I'm probably going to have to night hike tonight to get there. But Turkey Foot, I believe, has electricity and showers, so wasn't actually my planned stop. It was actually the campground that's like two miles before that. But I'm going to try to get to Turkey Foot and take a zero day tomorrow, which also wasn't planned. But uh, that will give my leg a much needed break and hopefully be better. So I sit here for about, took about a 30 minute break. It's actually 2.36 right now. I've been sitting here for about, well, not quite 30 minutes yet, about 25 minutes. And I took some uh, vitamin I. To, uh, get me going again. I had to take some this morning too. So it seems like it's lasting about four hours or so, give or take. And uh, that'll make it tolerable for another four hours and then I'll take another break and do it again. Um, water has been no issues. I've had plenty of water even though I had zero when I first left S Tree Campgrounds. There was a water source like five miles in or four miles in. I got water there and uh, trying to, I've only been carrying like 20 ounces of water on this trip where last year I was carrying anywhere from two to three liters at a time. Uh, I think once I even carried five liters of water because the water sources were so dry. But uh, with all the rain we've had this spring, summer, and even recently as of yesterday, no problems finding water anywhere. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and I'll update you later if, change, if uh, my plans change or if I see something cool along the way. Just a quick update. Between S Tree Campground, starting there, all the way to US 421 that goes to McKee and Sand Gap, I've had uh, three, four bars of 4G cell phone service the whole entire way so something to keep in mind if you got videos to upload or pictures or people to contact this is definitely a good area for cell phone coverage along the trail um, talking to my sister on one of my breaks earlier she reminded me and of course I knew about it too that um, the Chateau Trace Trail and me, we, I have this like five day curse. So last year, when I first started hiking this on day five, I rolled an ankle. Now really on day three, I had like blisters, but day five was, was the day I rolled the ankle and I got picked up. I think I took like three, might have been four days off from hiking. Then I come back out and then on hiking day 10, so with like my return being considered hiking day six. So five days back out on the trail, I got injured again. And that's when the blisters got infected, my feet swelled up. And guess what today is? Day five, my knees are bothering me. 
really bad. I'm you can just tell I'm not walking very fast. Um, parts of the trail I can make good time, but these ones that are really rocky and uneven, I have to be really careful where I step because the pain is just shooting up from my knee. And uh, anyways, so I'm gonna try to make it. The uh, the whole thing is. Since I started this time, I had been anywhere from six to eight miles ahead of my planned agenda. And what that's done is, um, I was just looking earlier at my agenda, and in five more miles, I will be at my planned stop for this day. And that's a few miles before the turkey foot campground but at the rate that I am walking I think that's the best plan and then I can get up tomorrow and reevaluate whether or not I need to take a zebra day and if I do I'm like I don't remember the miles um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 I'm only like 6 or 7 miles from that campground I can get up in the morning hike there check in Spend a full day just being lazy, recharging battery packs, that sort of thing, and uh, give my leg a rest. So I was going to try to make it to Turkey Foot tonight, but I think I'm going to put that off until tomorrow. Um, no. That's just, just part of it, but today's day five, and I've got to make it through today. I don't care, really care where I stop at. I've got to show Shiltoli that that it can't beat me every five days. <laughs> and I mean, I've been putting in, so last year I only averaged, like the first week I averaged about 12 miles a day. And the first five days I was out, I averaged like 12 miles a day. And then the second five days I was out, I was getting 14 miles a day. And this time I've been 15 to 18 miles every single day except for the half day. And I did six and a half that day. So, I mean, if it would have been a full day, I probably would have got, you know, more miles in for sure. But uh, I just don't understand why I'm cursed on day five out here. I've hiked other places that are more rugged than this. I've hiked other places that are harder than this. I've, uh, I've hiked longer than five days before. No issues, but something whistle tall. And uh, a uh, hiker that I watch all the time, and for the life of me, I can't remember his name right now, or his YouTube channel name, but uh, he recently hiked Shiltoli Trace Trail. And in one of his videos, he said something that he didn't feel like he was right with the trail. And for some reason, that really hits home today. I think I just heard my phone go off. That's probably the Chateau Trace Association letting me know how far off the trail uh, the camp campgrounds is. So I'll update in a little bit. This is where Shatoli Trace Trail exits on KY Highway 421. So right goes to McKee 